Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Realm Slash the Southlands campaign, Temple of Elemental Evil T1-4, Fruit Designs number 5. We're encamped in the moat house, and here we are. So, this place has all kinds of traps and surprises waiting for us. As you step through this door, the door to your left jerks open and a man fires a crossbow into your party. And this is... Temple Veteran. Uh. He's dead. Two, uh, two, uh, experience. I guess I'll detect. Dang. Nothing. Four men come charging after their friend. Okay, they're not in that direction. Here they are. Okay. Target the crossbowman. Tessa with her four hit points. Kills a temple veteran. Kill the crossbowman. Burnock is using a magical dagger and almost using a magical hand axe. And none of this stuff is worth anything, but. The ring mail is to slow us down. You hear shouts and cries from the north. Someone is rallying forces. From the east, you feel fresh air blowing in your face. Around the corner you hear a rattle as the chains are being jerked across the floor of the catacombs. The path leads up ahead of you returning to the surface. Continue? Yes. You make your way out into the marsh south of the Moss House and eventually circle back to the trail. Oh, well, that's lovely. No, I don't want to arrive at the moat house. I want to run away. There's a reason that we felt... Okay, so when we do that, we want to go south and west. Time to go fix up. Does anybody have any items? He's got a short bow. Just drop that. Oh no, that's good. That's what we want. That's Tessa. Oh. 
just kind of poaching in one hand this whole time. Alright, let's head back to the end of the welcome winch. Get a little much needed rest and relaxation. <laughs> same then um, detect magic cure light wounds cure light wounds keep them Tessa we're going to memorize sleep twice we'll keep that Amanda detect magic and stinking cloud Yeah. All right, we're all fixed up. The rest to memorize our spells. Griselda can level up. But how much money does he have? 153. Carlos got 143. Okay, Griselda's gonna go. Why do I always do that? Zelda's going to appraise some gemstones. We could appraise some jewelry too to see what that's about. We could buy some ammunition. Alright, so Griselda's going to appraise some gems. 25 platinum. 25 platinum. 250. 25. 25. So that gives him 493. So Carlo can trade to Griselda, 7 Platinum, let's see who has jewelry, Cyrus has two jewels, let's appraise the jewels, give you 272 Platinum, keep. 2,500 platinum. Wow. Keep. Okay, so now he has two ones. That we can sell at any time. So let's have Carlo buy 20 more arrows. 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 And now Griselda needs 5 pieces of gold. 
So Grixalda can buy five bolts, bundles of arrows. And then we'll go get our thief upgraded. Zelda would like to train and become a level 4 thief. Yes. Congratulations. Got 25 HP. I don't know what comes with each level. Different feats or anything, I'm not sure. Save the adventure is game A. And let's get back into it. This mode house is proving to be quite a challenge. We thought Salt Marsh was bad. The alchemist on the hill. This is rather tough and we can't even get past the creaking boards. Jinji takes a hit point of damage. And this time I'd like to try to go a different way. Jinji lead the way. Thankfully there's no respawns that we can see yet. I want to take this secret door. And how do I get there? There we are. I still want to go up. A port Quillis has crashed down, barring progress back up the steps. You say no way to unlock or lift the gate. Okay, so we're not going that way. Then we're going back the other way. I think the big bad is in the basement. But. Oh, did I just go back down then? Curious. I can't go that way. I forgot. Which way did I go? I took the secret door, but now the portcullis has fallen, so I can't go back up there. Is that right? That's interesting, because I did not explore everything up there. And I'm afraid that... Let's try this one more time. Port Coast crash down, barring progress back up the steps. You say no way to unlock or lift the gate. Wow, so that's it. The top floors are completely... 
impassable now. So we've got to come down here. And this is now where all the zombies came out. So. An empty cell, chains dangle from the wall. A loose piece of stone in the wall covers a shallow depression holding a dusty peridot. Nice. Always on the hunt for gemstones. Empty cell, chains dangle from the wall. Nothing. I had to bash that one. Nothing. This place seems to be long abandoned, for dust, dirt, and cobwebs abound. Here stand all those implements which exist in a torture chamber, including the skeletons of previous victims. You notice that there is a cleverly placed stone which conceals a shaft leading into the earth. Do you wish to lower yourself into the darkness? No. Looking over these remains, you realize that the skeletons are not so old as they first appear. These mechanisms have been used recently. Looking over these remains, you... <laughs> okay. Alright, so we know to go that way. I would like to go this way. In this room you find barrels of pole arms and arrows. Looking over the materials, you decide that this would be a good place to rest if the exploration of the dungeon goes badly. Would you like to take some of the weapons? Yes. There are quite a few barrels of pole arms as well as some arrows and crossbow bolts. Oh, we don't really want them. A glaive, though. I'm going to have Gingy take the glaive because I think that might be better than a halberd. Carlo can take the arrows. Um, so that's a place to rest. We found it a little late. But that's just how it goes. Um... One D ten plus one, Thok of seventeen. Two D six plus one would be the better move. So we'll give him a glaive. Behind this door are stacks of shields and leather armor. Behind this sacks are some barrels of salted meat. Would you like to take some of the armor or shields? Sure, there are quite a few of each. Zero XP, so there's nothing magical here. Okay, we don't want anything. I'm not even going to detect anything. After taking what you want, you determine this room would be easily defensible should you need a place to retreat. It's nice that we're finding all this now. Hanging over the end of the stairwell is a large collection of pulsing green moss. As you take notice of it, it drops towards you. Narrowly, you dodge it and set it ablaze with your torches. Climb back to the ground floor of the key. Oh, word. A few torn sacks, broken barrels, and shattered weapons racks show that this large area was once a storage place and armory for the keep. There are heaps of junk lying across the floor of the entire chamber. Okay, then we've got to go <clears throat> underground. Let's do it. Iron rungs lead down to a cramped mausoleum cell. The last few feet is a drop that leaves you with a difficult return climb. Shaft leads into the darkness overhead. Do you climb upward? No. 
You step into a dank, dusty mausoleum. The odor of decay is thick in the air. Ghouls rush from the darkness to the west. To the west. Ooh. Sixteen. Hmm. Slays Gingy with one helpless. Okay. Got a free shot at him. Elmo. Fernock is paralyzed by poison. Let's try to kill the one that is after Fernock. Before it gets a chance to move. Nice. My plan worked out perfectly. They held no valuables. We're in a mausoleum. A body was laid to rest in this tomb many years ago. Oh, we can't look it over? A body was laid to rest in this tomb many years ago. A body was laid to rest in this tomb many years ago. He was laid to rest in this too many years ago. Maybe if you had a more evil disposition, you could loot these. broke into the mausoleum through the back of this tomb. Ahead you see their warrens trailing into the distance. Ahead you see the glint of bone lying amidst the rubble of their lair. We're really going to go into a ghoul's lair? The ceiling is a cramped five feet here. In the noisome den of the ghouls, lying here is a small heap of chewed bones and some collected wealth from the corpses. 22 XP. 80 pieces of gold, always a nice find. Here are narrow, low ceiling caverns leading to a winding maze network. They grow more narrow as they descend into the underworld. There is nothing for you here. Thank heavens. for a ghoul maze of the underworld. But it does show why it's important to look in every 
every tone. that I have to bash some of them, but picking seems to work most of the time. Let's save. Oh. This looks familiar. looks familiar. Here's the entrance to the null lair. Okay, so clearly I haven't found something down here. East, you feel, okay, we're back to where we were then. It wasn't a second floor. East, you feel fresh air, but we didn't go through this door. Save often. This was a guard room. The shouts ahead of you have silenced. Screaming brigands led by a commander in plate mail attack you. And we forgot to heal the GNG. Cast sleep? I suppose so. Be careful not to hit our own people. Temple veteran falls asleep. Temple veteran falls asleep. And temple hero falls asleep. Slit him with one cool blow. We search for valuables. Now this would be a good time to detect, I believe. Cyrus leveled up. Cyrus can detect. Nothing. Man, it is hard to come by magical equipment. I'll take the plate mail, though. In the leader's pouch, you find 29 small lapis lazuli gems. Each soldier's pouch with a handful of gold coins. 1,000 XP. 29 gemstones. Let's pull and share that. In this room are supplies for the guard. Salted meat, weak wine in a barrel, hard biscuits, dried fruit and such. There are also mounds of fresh rushes and grass for bedding. Ahead you see an opulently decorated room. Gold and silver braziers, plates and ornaments cover what small portion you can see. From around the corner you hear a pleasant voice bid you, Enter, my friends. You step into the room. 
A massive, heavily armored priest rises to greet you. In one hand, he clutches a staff, in the other, a mace. Your battles have left you weak, a pity, for I enjoy worthy sport. You I shall crush easily. And we still forgot to heal Jinji. With an infuriated cry, the priest, priest leaps forward with a quarterstaff. As he swings the weapon, it leads a sparkling trail of fairy fire. Now we're talking. 44 and his AC is minus 1. Larith begins casting. Ooh boy. Okay, let's not get too close. Let's cast a stinking cloud on his face. Dang, I can't get close enough, so I'm going to have to abort the spell. Waste her turn. Lareth cast a spell. Carlo is held. Not a problem. Amanda is held. If I can just put him to sleep. Unaffected. No attacks of opportunity for casting in combat. Either that or he's got combat casting or something. A whole person spell aboard. That's interesting. All right, we're all surrounded him. All we gotta do is hit the guy. Seven damage. Carlo is held, meaning he can't act at all. That's what I, I didn't. Uh, I thought it just meant you couldn't move. Ten damage. get this guy. We only have Griselda shooting though. Instead of Carlo. I could move Griselda in for backstabs. Eight damage. Stabs. Uh oh. Nine. He lost the spell. Beautiful. Attacking him from behind. Backstabs and missed. Lareth surrenders. One sixty seven new search for valuables. Plate mail and mace. Have a man to detect. Enchanted plate mail. Cool. With Larith the Beautiful dead, you can thoroughly search his chambers. You turn up quite a few inner interesting items, including a spectacular set of silver trays and plates. Also in the room are some less valuable gems and jewelry. 
These also go into your party's collective pouches. 981 XP. Three jewels. One gemstone. One piece of the gold. You are sure that no creature of evil will attack you here. Do you rest? Yes. The rich cushions and sweet incense are comfortable, but a bit too gaudy to completely relax. Let's fix. I wanted his fairy fire quarterstaff, though. He surrendered. Okay, detect magic is fine. Sleep twice is fine. Still good. I need to memorize. Cyrus need to memorize anything? Okay, he's good. I save often. surrendered, which is basically the same thing. From the east you feel fresh air. We were very close and probably could have done it the first time when we returned to the surface. Okay, now we want to go south and west, back to town. You look about in surprise. Fernock is gone. In your pouch a note. Thanks for the fun and the gold. Fair journey, friend. F. Aww. That's awesome. As you draw near Hamlet, Elmo turns and walks off into the forest. See you, Elmo. Let's head here and get this, at least get this plate mail sorted out. Cyrus has the plate mail. Two plate mails. I believe it was this one. Looks like some sort of plate mail plus one. And this one? can't tell anything. So let's sell regular plate mail. We got a plate mail plus one. Who should use it? Ginger's using banded mail. Tessa's using plate mail. Alright, Cyrus. Takes him to a minus one. I thought he was a minus one. Hmm. It doesn't make any difference to him. Movement nine. Is that the same as the other plate mail? Movement nine. event we can sell the gold plate mail 2500 platinum pieces for your plate mail twenty five hundred 
Is this the plate mail plus one too? Oh my gosh. I was wearing a plate mail plus one. Unbelievable. Let's trade that to Tessa then. Unbelievable. Oh, she's wearing the ring of protection. It's not going to double up. Nope. All right, then we can trade the ring of protection to Gingy. This is how we do it. <laughs> That takes him to a minus one. So everyone's in the minus up there, which is good. Does Tessa have... Well, we have enough gold to give Tessa and Cyrus. No, let's just... Two hundred seventy-two platinum pieces, sure. and burn. The news of your arrival and your victory precedes you to the tower doors. Looking both anxious and perplexed, Rufus bursts through the door and escorts you to his and Burns private chambers. You must tell us all that transpired in the moat house. Is it true that you slew Lareth the Beautiful? Rufus interrogates you while servants bring refreshments of wine and cheese. He asked questions of the brigand sigil and asked carefully about what words they spoke as you did battle with them. This is dire indeed. Burn steps into the room, closing the door with a noted thud. The room has fallen silent and the servants are long gone. By your own words, these men are undeniably minions of the Temple of Elemental Evil. You will do well to leave now and to never return to the Southlands again. You have assured assuredly made powerful enemies here. It is true that the upper works of the temple were thrown down and destroyed in the final days of the war against its hordes. However, because of its power and evil, the temple proper was never truly raised. Its great doors were sealed, with many wards of all sorts placed on its doors and the black labyrinth beneath. Even as great a force as, as overthrew the temple could not cleanly deal with what lurked below. Since that great battle, the temple area has been shunned, its ruins deserted. The nearby village of Nob has returned to a semblance of normal activity, questionable at best, for the place has always housed thieves. But as Nob stinks of garbage and filth, the temple area reeks of the foul corruption and pervading evil from whence it was spawned. No wonder that both places have again been left to their own devices. When the temple of elemental evil flourished, earthquakes, storms of all sorts, great fires, and flash floods struck areas nearby with seeming capriciousness. All that ceased when the temple was assaulted and sealed. There are many bad folk in Nob, and worse perils remaining in the ruins beneath the temple. Should you go there, you would certainly find yourself dealing with horrors beyond your ken. Burn stares into the distance for a long while, and silence overtakes the room. After a moment, he stands and turns, turns from you, uttering his thanks for your deeds. He walks from the chamber. Rufus grabs your arm, looking into your eyes in earnest. I know the look in your eye. Many a damn fool shows that same gleam. Listen, for I know you will at least take a look at Nob before leaving this area as any sane person would do. Seek out Otis. He is a wise man and he knows much that could save you. If you earn his trust, you may even walk out of Nob alive once you realize that there is nothing for you in that town but death and sorrow. Rufus holds your gaze for a moment more before turning to leave. At the door he faces you. Please do not misunderstand me. We are appreciative of what you have done. You have likely crippled the temple's advance efforts. This is a great service. Training will, of course, be provided if you seek it. Again, Rufus offers training, and Byrne opens his libraries, albeit cautiously, to all who will pay and show a fit knowledge of the arcane arts. Some of Byrne's hirelings are sufficient to advance any rogues. Alright, so Cyrus would like to train. He will become a level 3 cleric and a level 3 fighter. Yes. 
Excellent. And Tesla would like to train. Training costs 500 platinum. Jinji can trade to Tessa. Still not enough? She's too shy. Come a level three fighter? Yes. Thought goes down to 16. She needs a better weapon though. Alright, cool. So now in the next episode, I guess we head to Nolb. Um I'd like to say thank you for watching. That was fun. Uh tune in next time. And we'll head to Nolb and eventually to the Temple of Elemental Evil and see what that offers. So uh, that's going to be pretty wild, I know it. I will see you next time. Much love, peace, joy, and light to your life. And uh, take it easy.